and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there for some Simic Control. That's right, we have a donation deck to play a big mana Simic deck. This is kind of like a, a, a Simic Nexus deck, uh, except for we're not playing Nexus of Fate, and instead we're playing uh, some, some real win cons with Commence the Endgame, Hydroid Crisis, uh, things like that. Um, yeah, this is a Wilderness Reclamation deck. I have not played a Wilderness Reclamation deck before, and uh, I had the don I got the donation to play the deck, and I didn't want to say afterwards oh, I don't want to play Wilderness Reclamation. You know, like <laughs> that that would be pretty rude, and so I don't I don't want to do that. Um, oh, ooze would be a good idea. Should it be ooze instead of Riptar Raptor in the sideboard? I'll just go with the Riptar Raptors. Yeah, because th I mean they're for mono red. But anyway, um, yeah. So we're we're basically going non nex uh, no nexus. Next is a fate deck. Uh, you know, like we're trying to just uh, get a whole lot of mana with the help of Wilderness Reclamation and get a, gain a lot of cards with, you know, like our Chemister's Insights um, and Hydro Crisis and, yeah, just play uh, really big Crisis or commence the end games. Um, use Sinister Sabotage and Frilled Mystic to counter a whole bunch of stuff to protect our threats and, you know, just kind of do that. Just get lots and lots of magic and everything. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's our deck. We'll go ahead and give it a go and see how it does. I know, I know, I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a Reclamation fan. But we had our donation for it, so we're going with it. Hmm. Well, this hand's awesome if we get to four mana. But we should probably ship it. All right, look for blue mana. Not blue mana. I wonder how many actual green and blue sources do we have in this deck anyway, just wondering. So we have 10, 14, there's only 14 green, and there is 16 blue. It's not, not the worst. 16 blue sources, that's not the worst. That's a, that's a good amount. Had a game against Reclamation, Karn, Tron, with a bunch of counters. Once on ladder, Reclamation with Blast Zone plus God Pharaoh statue is worse than Teferi. Well, good news is we we do kind of look like Mono Green Tron. If you know if we can't find any blue mana, those were two pretty horrendous hands that we had, though. Yeah, this game's likely over. I mean, like my best case scenario is 
playing a, an Azkanta like next turn. Uh, and I honestly don't think I can stop this Crackling Drake before I'm dead. I don't want to discard anything and let my opponent see anything. Um... Yori Cattell with the resub there. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Ninth sub of the day. I don't really see anything to to change in the sideboard, honestly. I'm just running back. Don't really have anything in here for Phoenix. I think we're just try gonna try our game one plan. I'm feeling like there's not enough lands in this deck. This is 25, but I'm starting to feel that 25 is not enough. Yeah, maybe Melody for Electromancers, but that's still pretty expensive. You know, being four mana before we play it. Tilted. I'll take it. Go, Nissa, go. Strange and magnificent world. Rise, my elemental friend. Okay, still playing the Nine Value deck. All right. Yeah. Um. Maybe Sorcerer's Spyglass or a Mortal Sun to deal with Planeswalkers and Naya. Uh, if Ixalan's Binding's too expensive, there's a new Planeswalker removal spell um, that costs less. Um. Costs four mana. It costs three mana. Sorry, sorry, I forgot what it's. It's called. Behold, nature's true power. Prison realm. Yeah, prison realm. That's the name of it. You try my patience. To the library. Um, I think I just want counter magic. Uh, they already saw sabotage. I'm just gonna say sabotage. I guess I could have just minus Tamio and picked up the sabotage, but. I don't want, I like the high loyalty. I don't really want them to be, <clears throat> I don't really want my Planeswalker to not have very much loyalty. It's going good, Balding Yeti. Yeah, Realm gets tucked too. Yep. 
yeah, I mean, enchantments just all get tucked. You can just play burn spells, Anaya, Lightning Strike, Shock, that kind of stuff, to kill Planeswalkers. You can also play Legion War Boss, like things with haste. You want like haste creatures also to attack Planeswalkers as well. All right, on to game three. That was a good opener. I mean, our hand last time on the play was awesome. You know, we had Sabotage on turn three into Nissa on turn four because of Growth Spiral. And then counter a bunch of stuff after that. They're getting rid of Electromancer. Yeah, I kind of want to play a Samet deck also. Give everything haste. Don't really know where to to play Samit, but could be a, a cool card to to build around. Ooh, Samic with Druidic Vow. Okay. Put a whole bunch of things into play, give them all haste. Alright, Druidic Vow, Samit. I'm in for that. I should maybe graveyard that, honestly. Yeah, I probably should just graveyard that. I have another crisis in hand. Because, yeah, I just need land right now. Because, obviously, my opponent's just going to have their counterspell magic available. All right, now we have a clock out here. We will not fail. Be wary of the ground you walk on. All right, looks like we're going to be one to know. Flip as Kanta by putting one more thing in the graveyard. Oh, right. I thought that was going to be seven. Oh, that was. It already counted the other thing as five. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. No land drop. With one well, six there, because with land drop, I could have had I could have like blink and blink of an eye my frilled mystic and then replayed frilled mystic. So that's why I went with six. Uh, but we just drew another frilled mystic, so we were good. Yeah, our opponent kept island island charter course. 
basically, because they had turn two charter course, and looks like they did not draw any red lands or you know anything else to kind of do after that. Um, looks like they also they also had a at least one goblin electromancer because they discarded that to charter course. But so yeah, they probably had you know like if they drew the red source, they'd have like turn two electromancer and then like charter course and really start going off. But they didn't draw the red source. All right, good thing we're on the play because we're not going to do anything for a while. Um, you don't get the point of the Tamiya, what's good on her? Just actual everything. She has a ton of loyalty. Uh, can draw you cards some of the time with a plus one, but then also minuses and gets back anything that you need. Uh, from the graveyard But you know help just helps you dig really quickly to find your once you've set up in a kind of decent position to find your frilled mystics and All that kind of stuff I'm just going to insight on their end step here. Don't want to have the reclamation get countered. Syncopate's rude. Oh, I should just play this land first, though. We just saw Syncopate. Okay. <laughs> two two mana counter spells. You don't see very many counter spells in this meta game because of Little Teferi, but our opponent had two there. All right, we'll just have commence the end game here. So yeah, we, we get to like commence, and then commence, and then Tamiyo get, gets back commence, and then commence some more. So we're going to do make big creatures. Well, one um, big amass army. Attack. No, no, arena's working just fine for me, JPC guy. You two Zephyrs, you can't play either? That's weird. Everything's working just fine for me. Oh! Dang it, now I can't play this. this isn't a fight you can win. Right, well I could I couldn't really play that before, but I mean I should have chemistry's inside in response. Ugh. That's a fairy card. Yes, yeah, so I I was planning on just like commencing afterwards, because obviously if I can't, if I commence before, it just all gets bounced. I couldn't cast commence, but I should have incited there.
Well, this is not a, a great pairing for us. The person playing Teferi with tons and tons of counter spells. Going bigger. The whole can't play anything at instant speed is a bummer. Here goes nothing. This game's over. Can't beat Nimbus at Perun. I mean, well, let's see. Draw card 8, 9. We can make a 9 9, but Teferi just bounces the 9 9. Let's take the Teferi out of here, though. I can understand why my deck really hates playing against Little Teferi, though. I understand why Nexus players don't like Little Teferi. And they just... Had a lot of good stuff there. So let's get these Negates in. Let's get these Brontodons. So we're going to need to steal stuff. I just want the Brontodons because I want something... I want some early pressure. I really want blink of an eye. Why not play Nissa to kill Little Teferi? Because Nissa would just get countered. Yes, Tariq, it's always live. We're on Twitch. Uh, you asked yesterday, if it, is it live? Yes, it's always live. Hey, Necrolepsy. 
going pretty good, going pretty good. So... Well, no, no reruns in my channel. So we have to cut eight cards. Do I just cut Reclamation? It's only 62. <laughs> Nabo, how did, how's it going? All right, let's give this a try. Ended up cutting the manipulations because, like, we have to, you know, we had to wait for them to play like a planeswalker or, you know, Niv Mizzet, and then us play um, the manipulation and then also have it resolve. There we go. So I am planning on just playing the Brontodon on turn three, I think. I guess playing turn three Brontodon if they just go to Fairy tick up. Or like to Fairy Bounce, sorry, to Fairy Bounce, I'm in trouble. Yeah, we have Blast Zones. Blast Zone can kill Teferi. <laughs> How's one get to look so dashing? You just got to put a dress shirt, a collar dress shirt on, and a, and a tie. That's basically it. Hey, Michelle Brio. Glad to have you back again. Go, Brontodon, go! Nope. Psycho store score. Nothing will be rotating when Corset 2020 releases. I know my responsibility. No! I am not making this up as I go. Well, that was, of course, the absolute worst case scenario for us. Basically, the only bad scenario that could happen that turn was Teferi Time Raveler bounce Bronted on. Really, anything else would have been just fine. I would have just untapped, played a Tamiyo, or held up Sabotage. Rotation is always at the fall set. Every year, the set that's released in the fall, that's when rotation is. By the fall, I mean like September, October. It's usually released in one of those months, usually like the very end of September. I'll protect you. That's when rotation is. Every single year, same time, that fall set. And a year's worth of cards rotate out at that time.
No. Frilled Mystic is really good. It's a very good card. I've got it. Saying a statement like Frilled Mystic is trash is just a It's a pretty ridiculous statement. Not just about Frilled Mystic, just but just about like cards in general. Like everything there's Basically, everything in Magic is um, subjective, where thing where cards will be better or worse depending on the circumstance or the scenario. Just flat out saying a card is trash is just just I don't know, uh, misleading, false, um, disingenuous. We will meet again. Okay, well, we get to cast Instance now. Yes, rotation, you're going to lose every, like, four sets at a time leave in rotation, so everything before Guilds of Ravnica that's currently in standard will be leaving at that time. Do you think Red Green Haste Pig is playable in the current metagame? I mean, I guess it depends on how you define playable. I don't I don't know exactly what Red Green Haste Pig means. I assume that's a, a deck with Ilharg and uh, the Green Red Enchantment uh, that I'm blanking on the name of. But no, I think Frilled Mystic is a really good card, and like it quite a bit. So they have eight cards in hand, so they'll have to be discarding here. If they discard an instant or sorcery, which they did, now Crackling Drake being a 3-4, doesn't necessarily make me want to play... Or doesn't make me want to attack with Brontodons, because they can just block and get in another instant in the graveyard, and then I'll trade. No, Dominaria, Ixalan, Corset. 2019 and Rivals of Ixalan, those are those are the sets they'll be rotating out. So once in the fall, those sets will not be legal anymore. Standard always fluctuates between five and eight sets. So yeah, they can draw more because they're just gonna have to go and discard more cards. Unless they play stuff. I guess that was the reason to lead with negates.
mind protect that which cannot protect itself. Behold, nature's true power. I am Tamio. It is an honor to meet you. Cool, what's up, Tamio? Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. So likely one of, like it's very unlikely that I'm untapping with both planeswalkers, and it's certainly one of the planeswalkers is probably dead because all it takes is just two spells to increase the track the crackling drake to be enough power. Well now we're I'm probably gonna be untapping with one of them. Well, Come on, let me untap with Nissa. Let me untap. Yes. Okay. Alright, so what do I have in here? Not much. Got it. Um, so I need four more counters on Blast Zone. One, two, three, four. And then untap. I don't have enough to do put four counters and then untap it and hmm what do I have Ugin Two, four, six, eight, nine. Oh, it's ten. Oh, because this forest did two. I didn't. I count this forest as one. It was two. Could have done ten. Well, that works, though. Do not underestimate my fortitude. Yeah, accidentally played around syncopate. Do not assume I am fragile. I can help you no longer. All right, these Bronzadons have just looked silly. You know, wasn't really expecting like all these crackling drakes and stuff. But playing these Brontodons has looked pretty silly. All right, I'm going to go for a Frilled Mystic here. Let me aid your research. None. All right, well, with no Frilled Mystics, we'll have 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We'll go Krasis for 10. Do I not have that much mana? I guess not. 2, 4, 6... Oh, right, right. This is not in play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, there's no Nissa in play right now. All 
Right. So I think my plan is just to play all these Krasises. We have the last Krasis is in the graveyard that I can grab with Tamiyo if we untap with Tamiyo. If if I would have found like some Frilled Mystics, I think I would have even like one Frilled Mystic, I think I may have just like passed the turn Do not and try to get like Blast Zone, like be able to like put mana on Blast Zone or hold up Frilled Mystic. me okay let's get Golgari walkers up on YouTube ready to go all right and that one's up on YouTube now You will find my notes helpful. All right, so we can actually cast both these Frilled Mystics if need be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dr. Tobias Funk. Thanks so much for that Twitch Prime sub there. Oh, yeah, it's just the second notification for this month. Well, I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. So they only have three mana left. So unless they already had the the land drop, no settle the wreckage. Well, you get you get uh, counted twice a month then. And show me your kitties with that resub as well. You are setting a bad example. All right, so it could still have settle.
All right, we'll have these bla this blast zone kill all these drakes. Well, they're killing this Tamiyo, even though I'm, I'm going to be killing my own Tamiyo. So that's fine with me. this outcome and yeah we do have two counter spells for whatever they have here negate and frilled mystic up and yes I could have ticked up the Tamiyo but they don't have anything they could possibly win so not no real reason to tick up the Tamiyo there all right show me your kitties with that resub was sub number 11 on the day so we hit our first sub goal is awesome. Well, the Brontodons did actually attack. Did get to attack with these Brontodons. We did attack the Teferi. That was kind of cool. I don't know if our opponent does have <clears throat> if they do have um Teferi, I'm gonna be pretty dead. So yeah, the main the main reason why we didn't have reclamation in before is because it's just so bad against you know it does nothing against the blue white Teferi, but so does a lot of our other cards though too. No Teferi, no Teferi. Pass. Good game. Right on schedule. Let's try this. I mean that card's just un unbeatable. Yeah, I mean I can play play a creature but they just bounce it. Then I play a creature the next turn and bounce it again, and I'm taking lethal. Cool game. Let's see, I just play this, they bounce. Hero, Teferi, War Boss. Trust me, I have a plan. Yeah, that's nine there. Even if they don't have like another bounce spell. You know, or removal, or, or counter spell, or anything. I still I can't block enough to to not take lethal the next turn. Taking lethal. All right, one and one. With this in the control deck, it's kind of why like just playing just playing Simic is. A huge, huge problem because you can't deal with Teferi, and and you know you don't have like the sweepers and stuff like that. And there's just not really a reason not to play Bant right now. 
That's what it feels like. It doesn't really feel like staying with two colors gains you anything, really. I mean, you get Blast Zone. Blast Zone's cool. I guess you get that. So blue finale is honestly a pretty good card. I do like blue finale. Yeah, I mean, yeah, blue finale could be pretty good here. We have commenced the end game to like try to be our our beatdown card. That that's like the slot where you'd have blue finale is like instead of commence the end game, but commence the end game makes you know like the creatures to beat down with. Um, question is, is Bant better than Sultai? So I'm assuming you're just talking about like just like mid-range decks. Um, and I don't think you can uh, really say which one's better, honestly. They're both good. Like, it's just, you know, like, like magic. So much things are situational and, you know, like all that kind of stuff. No, they're they're both very good decks. So now we we know they've already used both of their mana. They're not going to get more mana this turn, so Steam can gone. That blink of an eye was clutch. Bouncing that Steam can. Clutch. Because now what are they going to do? They have to... Their shocks are just going to go. I liked Padre. I liked this version more. I, yeah, I definitely liked this version more. But then at the end of the, at the end of the video, I also made some some more changes to the deck that I think that I think are good changes. So if you check out the uh, Golgari Walkers video that's up on YouTube, take take a look at the end of it. I mean, I guess I should just be playing the Blast Zone here. No, no, because I mean I'm going to be sabotaging the Steamkin this turn. Yes. Yeah, the Band Arcbow deck is stronger than Selesnya Arcbow, yes. So we got four cards over there right now. Now. Nice, good job, JPC guy. Um, yeah, if you do, if you don't have all the the dual lands, you probably want to stick with two color then. If you don't have the dual lands, it's probably not worth it in that case. How are we doing here? Five. So this would be six. Oh well, I'm just gonna go library. I want I want this card. There we go. Tamio's good. Tamio gets to rebuy a Krasis. Next turn, we can have Tamio and the Frilled Mystic. Counter something.
Tamio. Every story is an opportunity for new data. Well, we got this game. I have learned much from my ancestors. Yeah, returning crisis is quite nice. Does hurt our flipping as Kanta ability though. My research has been compromised. Cause I don't really even mind if like the Krasis gets killed because I can just Tamio back the Krasis again. All right, winning game one against red. Certainly helped they got stuck on two lands, but now we're gonna have all these Brontodons and Ripjaw Raptors as well. Um, I'm going to take out, commence. Hmm. Our deck doesn't actually seem that bad against Mono Red, come to think of it. Yeah, Melody is probably not so bad. It's like four mana removal. I guess I just take out Wilderness Reclamation. I want any excuse to take it out, of course. Let's see, what am I cutting? Like, Sinister Sabotage? I don't know, Sabotage is cool. Cool, yeah. You had the same thought. Wilderness Reclamation, the two... Um, two Kempster's Insights. I kind of want to take out the other Insights. Yeah, I'm going to play Commence the End Game instead of the other Insights. Where Commence could be like a you know big instant speed blocker kind of thing. We're going to have to get quite lucky, but honestly, being on the draw, we're going to have to get quite lucky anyway. But I could use a growth spiral here. I guess I'd have to shock now. All right, maybe I should have gone breeding pool. I was thinking I would just play the Hinchel and Harbor in, but I, I can't play Hinchel and Harbor with Memorial. Hmm. I'm going to have to hope they don't have another land. No land? Pass? Oh. 
wasn't ideal for me. Negata with that Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Negata, for that support there. Oh no, we're dead. I need you earlier, Grow Spiral. Grow Spiral is definitely going to be one of my very, like, my most important cards in this matchup. Yeah, War Boss is a big oof. Oof. <laughs> Ahoy. Thanks, Negata. Enjoy all those awesome emotes. We're even more dead now. Yeah, that MTG Netflix show looks really, really sweet. Looks super sweet. Good game. Yeah, I've definitely noticed that War Boss. That's our our last two losses. We have gotten wrecked by War Boss for sure. Definitely been noticing that. War boss is a huge problem. No problem, bad news cast. Check out this site here for more information of learning Magic the Gathering. All right, we got a four card hand. Not do anything with this commence the end game. And I'm gonna keep the Ascanta here on turn two to try to help look for more blue mana. You would've kept just the double blink hand, but it's just, it's an island, a colorless source, blink, blink. And then Frilled Mystic, Frilled Mystic. Like the, if it was at least like two lands towards Frilled Mystic, you know, it's only one land towards Frilled Mystic. Like, I don't, I can't really like. What does that hand beat? Like, how does, how does that hand win? I like this hand more than that hand. Like, I could see this hand winning. You know, I could see us stealing something and countering something else, and you know, who knows. That hurts. Thanks, Panda. Hope you're having a good day. A good Monday. Oh my gosh. Uh, the deck's just taunting me with like all my sideboard cards. All right, so Simic Control there went one two. Was not was not too impressed with the deck. It just it just doesn't seem like there's any reason to be two colors basically, just to be only blue and green. Um, it just feels like 
like he, yeah like there's like you should just be playing three colors like this just blue and green just doesn't have the removal that it needs uh you need a, yeah you need white or black or red <laughs> any of those would just make the deck better you know red would give it like any of those give it like just better removal uh better interaction and and all that kind of stuff um yeah so i think that's our our final verdict is that um any of those would be better and right instants instants are kind of weak in this this format that is true because of little to fairy so like that's that really does hurt chemistry's insight sinister sabotage those two cards so all right that's Simic control um, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please hit the like button over there, and the subscribe button would be nice as well. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you for another video.